ट्रिग्नोमेट्री प्रैक्टिस सेट 6.2 क्वेश्चन 3 टू बिल्डिंग्स आर फेसिंग ईच अदर ऑन अ रोड ऑफ विद 12 मीटर फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ द फर्स्ट बिल्डिंग व्हिच इज 10 मीटर हाई द एंगल ऑफ एलिवेशन ऑफ द टॉप ऑफ द सेकंड इज फाउंड टू बी 60 डिग्री व्हाट इज द हाइट ऑफ द सेकंड बिल्डिंग सॉल्यूशन इट इज वेरी क्लियर फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन दैट द पर्सन इज स्टैंडिंग ऑन द शॉर्टर बिल्डिंग let ab be the shorter building and cd be the longer one so bd represents the width of the road therefore ab is equal to 10 meters and bd is equal to 12 meters we need to find the length of cd since angle of elevation is measured from the horizontal line let's consider segment am perpendicular to segment cd Therefore, angle of elevation is equal to angle CAM which is equal to 60 degree. In quadrilateral ABDM, angle B is equal to angle D is equal to 90 degree since the foot of the buildings are perpendicular to the ground. So, angle M is equal to 90 degree since segment AM is perpendicular to segment CD. Therefore, angle A is equal to 90 degree remaining angles of quadrilateral ABDM. Since all the angles are right angles, therefore quadrilateral ABDM is a rectangle. Opposite sides of a rectangle are equal in measure. Therefore, AM is equal to BD is equal to 12 meters and DM is equal to AB is equal to 10 meters. In right angle triangle AMC, tan 60 degree is equal to cm upon am therefore root 3 is equal to cm upon 12 therefore cm is equal to 12 into root 3 therefore cd is equal to cm plus md which is equal to 10 plus 12 root 3 therefore the height of the second building is equal to 10 plus 12 root 3 meters question 4 Two poles of heights 18 meter and 7 meter are erected on a ground. The length of the wire fastened at their tops is 22 meter. Find the angle made by the wire with the horizontal. Solution: Let AB be the shorter pole and CD be the longer one. Given AB is equal to 7 meter, CD is equal to 18 meter and AC is equal to 22 meter. Draw segment AM perpendicular to segment CD. Therefore, angle of elevation is equal to angle CAM. We need to find angle CAM. Let angle CAM is equal to theta. In quadrilateral ABDM, angle B is equal to angle D is equal to 90 degree. Since foot of poles are perpendicular to the height, and angle M is equal to 90 degree since segment AM perpendicular to segment CD. Therefore, angle A is equal to 90 degree by remaining angles of quadrilateral ABDM. Therefore, quadrilateral ABDM is a rectangle since each angle is 90 degree. Therefore, DM is equal to AB is equal to 7 meter opposite sides of a rectangle. Now, CD is equal to CM plus MD since M lies between C and D. Therefore, 18 is equal to CM plus 7. Therefore, CM is equal to 18 minus 7 which is equal to 11 meters. In right angle triangle, triangle AMC, sin theta is equal to CM upon AM. Therefore, sin theta is equal to 11 upon 22. Therefore, sin theta is equal to 1 upon 2. But we know that sin 30 degree is equal to 1 upon 2. Therefore, theta is equal to 30 degree. Also, angle CAM is equal to 30 degree. Therefore, angle made by the wire with the horizontal is equal to 30 degree. Question 5. A strong broker tree and the treetop rested 20 meter from the base of the tree, making an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal. Find the height of the tree. Solution. Let AB represent the height of the tree. Suppose the tree broke at point C and its top touches the ground at D. Now AC is the broken part of the tree which takes position CD such that angle CDB is equal to 60 degree. 
Therefore, AC is equal to CD, equation 1. Here, we have to find the length of AB, given BD is equal to 20 meters. In right angle triangle, CBD tan 60 degree is equal to BC upon BD. Therefore, root 3 is equal to BC upon 20. Therefore, BC is equal to 20 root 3. Now, cos 60 degree is equal to BD upon CD. Therefore, 1 upon 2 is equal to 20 upon CD. Therefore, CD is equal to 2 into 20 which is equal to 40. Therefore, AC is equal to 40. Therefore, AB is equal to AC plus BC which is equal to 40 plus 20 root 3. Therefore, the height of the tree is equal to 40 plus 20 root 3 meters. Question 6. A kite is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground. The string attached to the kite is tied at the ground. It makes an angle of 60 degree with the ground. Assuming that the string is straight, find the length of the string. Assume root 3 is equal to 1.73. Solution. Let A be the kite. Therefore, AB represents the height at which kite is flying and point C represents the point where the string is tied at the ground. Angle ACB is the angle made by the string with the ground. We need to find the length AC. Given angle ACB is equal to 60 degree and AB is equal to 60 meter. In right angle triangle ABC, sin 60 degree is equal to AB upon AC. Therefore, root 3 upon 2 is equal to 60 upon AC. Therefore, AC is equal to 60 into 2 upon root 3. Therefore, AC is equal to 120 upon root 3. To rationalize the denominator, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by root 3. Therefore, AC is equal to 120 into root 3 upon root 3 into root 3, which is equal to 120 into root 3 upon 3, which is equal to 40 into root 3, which is equal to 40 into 1.73, which is equal to 69.20 meters. Therefore, the length of the string is 69.20 meters. Thank you for watching the Academic Squad.